Well, welcome back. We have a brand new all-metal P-40 aircraft kit to look at from the nice folks at the Metal Earth Company. And this is one of their classical all-metal kits, and it's a brand new one, came out in 2020. If you've done any of the other ones, you'll really enjoy this. It comes in a flat cardboard pack, and the sheets of metal are flat when they come, and you form them into all different kinds of shapes. You don't use any glue on these. Well, you don't use a lot of glue. I use a little bit. What you do is you take the tabs, stick them in the holes, and either push them over, or you take and you give them a twist, one or the other. Now here's what the sheets look like. They're exquisitely painted. I don't know how they can get all that paint in all the right places, but they do. And they cram the parts in really close. So you need to keep track of which one goes to where. And they give you a register of where all the parts are. And they give you a whole bunch of directions, pages and pages of them. And you'll notice there's very few words. Now to get these shapes from these flat pieces into all these different things that you're going to make, you need a bunch of tools. I like to use, oh, just basic round stuff to get things to bend. And look at the paint job here. It's amazing. These are teeny tiny little pieces and how they get them all, I don't know. Don't ever break the parts off. Make sure that you cut them carefully. A nice set of sharp nippers do a job. And I always take and keep track of which parts that I've already used. That way I don't mix things up. And as I said earlier, you put the tabs in the holes and either give them a twist or just push them over. Now it does not come with a pilot, but I like a pilot in my aircraft. This one's going to be flying. And this is how you use all those tools to bend the metal every which way. And sometimes you have to get a little forceful to get it to do what you want it to do. I also keep track of the areas that I've finished in the instructions. That way I don't get mixed up, you know. As I mentioned, there's very few words in these directions, so if there are anything written down, make sure to read it and follow it, because that means you really have to pay attention. Pieces start going together one after another. This is a very easy kit. Here's the engine cowling going on. One of the more difficult parts was bending all of that supports for the windows. And here you see the tail assembly going together. I did have to fight a little bit with this. and. It came out just fine once I got it together. And here you see the main part of the wing going on the fuselage. When you put it together, make sure you get all the right things in the right places. Now I said you don't use glue on these kits. Well, once in a while I do use a little bit of glue. These pieces kept falling apart as I was trying to put them on. So I had a little spot of glue and that's the end of that. Here you can see the underside of the wing going together. This one takes a little bit of patience to put together correctly. And for some unknown reason, there's always a few pieces left over every one of these kits I do. So don't worry about it if you have a few extra little pieces. And here you have the kit all completed. It's flying along. What do you think? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Looks a lot like the picture on the packaging. I like it! Every time I build one of these kits, it just amazes me how you can take these flat sheets of metal and make these cool 3D models. Now you might want to know a little bit about the history of this P-40 War Warhawk. It was an American-made single-engine ground attack aircraft made famous in the combat during World War II by the first American volunteer group of the Chinese Air Force, 1941-1942. So this was limited service, but a service nonetheless. And here are some of the other aircraft that I've made from the Metal Earth folks. I made a whole bunch of other stuff too, but this is my armada. Well, have fun. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.